Microcasting for your city. Talkopolis. Bandwidth for today's show is brought to you by SoftLayer.com. We love SoftLayer here at Talkopolis. They are the greatest hosting company ever. They make everything easy. Check out their website at SoftLayer.com. Thanks again for sponsoring the show. Also by Nashville Violins, the string player's number one choice for their string instrument needs. Nashville Violins offers everything from lessons to repairs. Make sure you check them out at NashvilleViolin.com. You're watching Music Business Week. Our guest is Vinny Rebus. Howdy, Vinny. How are you? Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Um, tell us about Indie Connect. We are an organization that's kind of like a chamber of commerce for the music industry. Um, there is nothing like it out there. There's a lot of songwriter organizations, uh, but we basically provide education on how the business works. It's kind of a missing piece in a lot of musicians' uh, careers, and then we help them to get connected with the the contacts, the resources, the tools, whatever it is that they need to move their careers forward. And is there a fee for signing up for this, or how does it work? Well, we have uh, chapters in different cities, and so some of the events are free, some of the events are, are workshops that you pay for. Um, we have a website that has uh, over 80 workshops on it that we've videotaped and hundreds of articles. So some of those are free, some of those are for our, our membership. We have two levels of membership. One's $10 a month, one's $20 a month, depending on what you really need. So it's kind of like an online university for musicians, it sounds like. That's basically the concept, except that we add the live component, too. We try to cover all the different bases in the industry, from publishing to licensing, all, all the business, some songwriting, performance. Uh, tips, vocal coaching, and stuff like that. But it's there's a lot that's based on the business side, and it's learn as you go, you know, at the pace that you want to go and what you need right now. Yeah, well, you have a passion for this because you were a musician, right? I was for a long time. So how did that work? Where did you start being a musician, and how did that segue into the business? Well, I was a musician mostly in the late '70s, uh, all through the '80s, early '90s. I was also a booking agent and an artist manager, and then I got out of the business. And I won't go into that story because it would be <laughs> it, it's not a pretty sight <laughs> what happened but anyway um, I was running business luncheons uh, for general businesses a couple of years ago and I noticed here in Nashville that I was getting a lot of musicians that were coming to that and so one day I said to a bunch of them I said why don't we get together once a week and just talk music business I'd love to get back in the business somehow and uh, the first week I did one of the people that was there put it in his mailing list and I got a call from somebody in LA that said I'd like to start the LA chapter. No kidding. It's like of what? We've got a lunch. Five guys getting together. Yeah. But it grew from there. I had somebody speaking each week, one of the people that was there. And next thing I knew I had 15, 20, 25 people. I had a videographer that came down to a couple of meetings and said these talks are too valuable. I'm going to start videotaping them all. That's how we ended up with you know, over 80 workshops online. So cool. Very yeah. organic. But how many Absolutely. different chapters around the United States do you have? We have one in uh, Nashville, of course. We have one in New York, one in L.A., one launching in Biloxi, Mississippi, one launching in Sarasota, Florida, and yesterday I just signed somebody up for Atlanta. Fantastic. And then I'm talking to people other, in other places, too. What kind of success stories have you had with Indie Connect? It's interesting because the kind of successes that we see are not the kind that you would see in a newspaper. It's like um, young songwriters now writing with hit songwriters and getting those credentials that they would never have gotten if they hadn't been brought together by an organization like this. Um, we had one woman, Sean Murphy, had sung with Little Feet for 15 years and they were going to stop touring so they let her go. Um, and she came to one of our meetings and said, I don't know what to do with my life, this is all I've done. And we kind of brainstormed with her, because that's what we do a lot of, it's everybody brainstorming to help each other. And uh, found out that she loves the blues and so somebody there said, um, let me take you down to the blues uh, bar downtown to the jam and they brought her down there and that band became her backup band and now she's on tour with them doing all the major blues festivals and fabulous so, and she you know credits Indie Connect for that and then you get the strange things or different things like we had one gentleman who's older Michael Lelly he'd been big in the the folk era and he came in with a song that he had written he had recorded and he's got a very powerful voice and somebody said that would sound great if it was sung by an Italian tenor and we had an Italian drummer there and so Somebody said, Piero, can you translate that to Italian? He said, sure. Somebody else said, well, I know somebody from the opera here. We can get them to sing it. So they got him to come in and sing it over the tracks. And then Piero was going back to Italy. And this was from a Christian play that Michael had written. And Piero had contacts with the Vatican Publishing Company. 
So it was a combination of this person knows this and this person had this idea and everything. And nothing really came of it, but the idea is that none of that could have happened with just one mind. It was yeah. all the brainstorming. I it's love those kind that of because so much of what happens in being a musician is kind of lonely. I mean, you do, mm -hmm. some people co-write, I don't generally, but you, you do this whole process by yourself and, and I love this communal idea and the fact that it lives online. In addition to Indie Connect, you have a wonderful thing coming up January 15th. It's the first ever virtual music conference, that's right? Absolutely. And it's at virtualmusicconference.com. So you're saying the first time ever there's a trade show slash conference January 15th to the 17th completely online. Completely online. We've got well over 30 speakers from all over the, the world. I've got a, a speaker from Japan that's talking about touring Japan. I've got a speaker from Russia, one from Amsterdam, a couple from Canada, some from England, um, and of course some from the States here. And then we have business booths. There's a, a virtual trade show. Um, there's, it's amazing what technology can do now. I mean, there, a lot of companies are doing virtual trade shows or virtual conferences. So we have businesses from all over the world. We have artists from all over the world that'll be signing up, that are signing up to do booths like that. But also, um, we've partnered with StreetJelly.com so they can do live concerts at night. Mm -hmm. uh, and, oh. and then there's all kinds of networking where there's a, a networking chat lounge where people can get connected with other people and. You know, people can connect with the speakers, and some of the, the chats will be moderated. They'll be topic driven. I mean, it's just we're making it really, really interactive. What uh, kind of technological stuff would I have to have at home to participate? In? A just computer, a computer. Computer and a decent. How speed. much does it cost to sign up? The uh, to be an attendee, it's ninety-seven dollars mm -hmm. for three days. And just so much information, you could never get access any anywhere else on the planet Basically, to this kind of hands-on information, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, you can do anything that you would normally do at a regular uh, land-based conference except shake hands and you won't get the crud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's really, I mean, you, you can connect with people, you can do business, there's chat built into the whole thing, group chat and then one-on-one -on -one video chat. We're doing teleconferences after each of the speaker presentations so you can still connect with the speakers afterwards and ask questions. And so, I mean, it's just making it very interactive but you never have to leave the comfort of your home or your office. Congratulations. It's Thank a massive you. accomplishment and it's going to go on and on, right? This is the first year? This is the first one and, and if this works as well as we see it's happening, I mean it's, it's really getting global attention, mm -hmm. um, which is how I've gotten these speakers from everywhere. Um, then we're going to do a songwriter conference like six months later and then every year we'll do both of them. That's tremendous. So uh, everybody can reach out to you and get connected at IndieConnect.com and also VirtualMusicConference.com. Vinny Rebus, thank you so much for being our guest today on Music Business Week. The best of luck. I love your idea. I think it's incredibly innovative, and congratulations. Thank you. Check us out soon right here at Talkopolis. I'm your host, Greta Gaines. Have an awesome day. Microcasting for your city. Talkopolis.